Prior to mounting the boiler board, it is suggested to have plenty of help or mount a scrap piece of lumber to rest the system on while securing it to the wall. Make sure the lumber is level. Mount the system and then remove the support. With a multi-pump closed loop system, heating distribution options vary. You may have multiple manifolds in a concrete floor. You may have an air handler, an indirect hot water tank, etc. In this example, we use copper pipe with ProPress fittings, but soldering, PEX crimp, and push fit type connections and PEX pipe are also acceptable piping options depending on the application. If connecting to a manifold, cut and ream your pipe at the appropriate length, giving yourself extra, and apply pipe grease to the O-rings on the manifold fittings, if applicable. Thread the nut onto the manifold by hand. Repeat for all supply and return pipes. Snug the manifold adapter nut with a wrench, but be careful not to over tighten. With the Allen key, close any unused manifold ports and cap the open ports. Install the low water cutoff device that was included with your package via the push fit fitting near the top of your boiler system. Have your electrician temporarily wire the zone pumps to be plugged into an outlet. Connect the pump you are using to fill glycol into your system to the garden hose fitting at the bottom of the dirt separator. Ensure your air bleeders are open throughout the system. All your zones should be closed while you fill the boiler and primary loop. Begin filling the system by opening the valves for that zone and plugging in the related pump. If the zone is a floor heat zone with a manifold, open one loop at a time by turning the flow control knobs on the manifold until air is eliminated. Open valves as required. Once all the glycol is in the system, you can complete the fill through the autofill device by connecting your town water supply. The final fill rate is usually around 30 to 35% glycol. When filling through the autofill, it is normal for the vent to leak as air is being purged from the system. Using a small flat blade screwdriver, set the pressure reducing valve to 15 PSI. While the system is filling, check for any leaks. If an air lock occurs, try opening and closing a ball valve on the pump flange or by carefully loosening the bleed screw on the front of the pump. Open until you get air or water out of the bleeder. It's nice to have a rag handy to catch any fluid. When you get only fluid, you can close the screw and repeat this process as needed. The glycol feeder will resume pumping until the zone is full. Alternatively, the autofill will allow more water in. Repeat for all pumps or zones on your system. Plug in your boiler. Your boiler will turn on and begin the fill and purge cycle. Remove the lid of the boiler and open the air vent in the boiler until the liquid is free of air bubbles. Now is a good time to have your qualified electrician present to do the wiring. This includes the low water cutoff, pump and zone controller, thermostats, main boiler power, etc. If your system is equipped with a pressure bypass, connect it to your system as shown and set accordingly. Congratulations, your system is installed and ready for a professional for the gas connections, venting, and commissioning. Thank you for choosing Heat Innovations.